Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. And today, let us trade GE because GE's pain and its investors' pain just seem to continue. The stock broke below $18 a share. Day after the company slashed its dividend by half. The question now, should GE stay in the Dow at all? Is it value? Is it a value trap? Gina Sanchez, Ari Wald. Gina, first to you. Um, this is a company that's been around literally longer than any other in the Dow. It's known by probably every investor out there in, in the United States. It gets cheaper on many metrics as the price goes down, but is there, does that make it inexpensive or is it still overpriced and, and not a good, because a lot of people are going to look at it and go, ooh, GE's down by half, it must be a good deal. You know, Brian, it's really hard to say. What led GE to this point was 20 years, really, of, of mismanagement. And so you could argue uh, that it might take that long to sort of fix it. And whether or not it's fixable is a big question because it is a huge company now. And it's been going for so long and probably has so much of a quagmire um, internally that it's not going to be easy to fix. It, it's really hard for me to get excited about GE because nothing of what they're announcing is really any different from what they've done before. Uh, do you think that there's value here, Gina? It, no, I don't. No. Not yet. Yeah. Uh, Ari Wall, we look at the chart. I mean, uh, how do you chart a chart like that? It's, it's like a black diamond ski slope in the last <laughs> couple of months. I mean, I, I hate to say it because a, a lot of people, individuals, families, pension funds probably own GE. Is there any sign on a longer-term chart of a recovery? Uh, you know, I, I don't see it, Brian. And, and I generally believe that there is fundamental value out there. You, you can uh, buy a stock that, that becomes cheap enough in, in fundamental value terms, but I don't believe that there's price value, that you can buy something just based on a fallen stock chart. I do believe in price momentum, that you should be, uh, ba based on a, tr a stock chart, you want to be buying leadership, and GE doesn't have it. And to put this weakness into, con into context, Let's chart it versus the S&P 500, uh, which GE has fallen to a new generational low versus the market. If you've bought this stock at any point over the last 50 years, you've underperformed, and we can see really still in free fall here. Uh, so we'd stay away from it. It's been on our sell list since February. It's still on there. Uh, wow. Look elsewhere. That's been a great call by Oppenheimer. S sell and GE since February. And you guys, if people listen to major or saved your clients, I should say a lot of money, maybe made it on the short side. All right, Wall, Gina Sanchez, thank you both very much. As always, folks, check out the live version on CNBC's Power Lunch. I'll see you there as well. Take care. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.